Can a red dot make you faster? Hmm, well, I don't know, let's find out. I better stop while I'm still ahead, right? <laughs> oh, let's see here. Jeremy Middle Tennessee Firearms Training out here to talk to you a little bit of, just a little bit, just the tip of the iceberg, just the tip, right? On talking uh, and shooting red dot. Uh, you know, it's starting to become more and more common, which I think is great, uh, of shooters coming through classes and using pistol optics, shooting red dots and things of that nature. And I think it's great. I like to see it. It's funny, uh, those who have known me since the day I started Middle Tennessee Firearms Train, you're probably sitting there thinking, I'm, I'm trying to find a good spot here for this, for this camera here. You're probably sitting there going, Jeremy was like anti-red dot. No, I was never really anti-red dot, but I had my reservations about it, right? I was raised on iron sights. I shot IDPA with iron sights. There we go, that's better. And, you know, it was just one of those things where like, I'm happy where I'm at. No need to change. Then I threw a red dot on one of my pistols. Yep, I did it. And one pistol turned into five or six with red dots. Started training with the more and realized, holy crap, yes, this, this right here can absolutely make you faster. There's a key element to it, though. There's... You can't just suddenly throw a red dot and expect to be immediately fast with it. You can't just throw it on there and expect immediate results. Although some of you out there might see some immediate results if you have one big piece of the puzzle figured out, and that is presentation. Pressing the gun out to the same spot every time where your irons were already aligned, right? You know, you had people out there, they would press out and you can see it, you can see it. They put their gun out there and then their gun starts to do this. Or as they're putting out there, you see their gun tilt down like this and then it goes all over the place because either they're trying to align their irons. I haven't even got to the red dot yet. I know I see this a lot with red dots is they'll press the gun out and the same thing with their red dot is they'll press the gun out and because they can't see it immediately, they start fishing for it left, right, around and then they catch quick glimpses and they're chasing this red dot in their window. A red dot can absolutely make you faster, but you have got to be able to have that sight alignment quick and to the same spot every time. In other words, when I'm pressing my gun out, I'm not having to fish for things. I'm not having to go, oh no, I need to bring it up more. No, it's pressing to the same spot every time. I talk about this with dry fire. If you're dry firing, put a sticky note on the wall, whatever, and practice that press. And if you press out and the sights aren't there, well, move your hands till the sights are there, set it right there and go, okay, Brain, I need you to imprint this. That's where I want the gun to be when I press out where I'm looking. I'm staring down my target and I'm gonna press. And again, if the sights aren't there, fix your hands and then come back in and practice pressing your hands and the gun to the same spot every single time. That will absolutely help you be faster, even on iron sights, especially with iron sights. Now the red dot, if you got that piece of the puzzle figured out, if you got that little presentation figured out, I say little, that's a big piece. If you got that figured out, yes, things become, I don't wanna say easy, but things do start to come faster. Things start to appear quicker. Here's a pitfall to a red dot optic on a pistol to be careful of, is then getting caught staying in the optic and staring at the red dot. What do I mean by that? The best way to, to figure out if that's what you're doing is to take some painter's tape or something that you can stick over the front window of that red dot sight and occlude, cover the front sight, the front of the sight, to where when you press the target, you cannot look through that window to see your target. You must be seeing the target with your other eye pretty much. You're superimposing the red dot over that target, but still seeing the target. In other words, you're staying target focused. If you start to try to chase the dot inside that window while it's covered, suddenly you won't see the target anymore. And you're gonna be like, what, what the crap just happened? Why am I blind and can't see the target? Stay target focused, cover that, and man, right, right there, boom, you will see almost instant results in your speed with able to be picking up sights 
picking up target and transitionings. Uh, th those will start to happen a lot faster as well. It takes time. If you're one of those who thinks I can just throw a red dot on there and boom, I'm ready to go, and you're one of those that every time I see you press out, you don't even realize you're doing it, but you're doing this and then going, oh, there it is, pow, 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 pow. Maybe you're quicker once you found your dot, but gosh, if it takes you two seconds to find your dot, that's a problem. That's a lot of wasted time. Jeremy with Militancy Firearms Train reminded you to train hard, train safe, educate, train, defend. If you like the channel, like the content, please like, share, and follow. I hope to see you on the range real soon. Get in a class. We have a lot of fun out here. If you can't come see me, find an instructor near you, find a place to train. Training is super important. And then taking what you've learned in those classes and practicing them on your own. That's how we build a community of responsibly armed citizens who can be valuable assets, not liabilities. Appreciate you guys. See you next time.